dear students assalamu alaikum today we will do the questions of the poem last lesson of the afternoon question number 1 what is the tune in the opening line of the poem in the opening line of the poem there is the tune of perfect tiredness and boredom on the part of the teacher he has been doing something which he thinks is all useless question number 2 who is the speaker of the poem the speaker of the poem is d h lawrence question number 3 what are the pupils regarded as why has the teacher failed to hold them and urge them any more the pupils are regarded as unruly hounds who tug their leash the teacher has failed to hold them because they are least interested in acquiring knowledge they are indifferent unattractive and disinterested and they want to break away from the chains of classroom question number 4 which words and phrases in stanza 2 convey the mood of the speaker the words and phrases that convey the mood of the speaker are no longer now can i endure the brunt i am sick question number 5 why doesn't the speaker want to consume his fuel any more the speaker does not want to consume his energy any more because his pupils are not willing to shed their cool indifference towards knowledge he also thinks that his life is precious and he does not want to consume his energy uselessly the way he has been doing so far question number 6 what do you think they the toll of the insults in punishment means it is the disregard and the indifference on the part of the pupils towards the pains taking efforts of the teacher that brings the teacher feel the toll of insults to be piled upon him his dignity and self respect is hurt and he feels it a bitter punishment question number 7 why does the teacher feel that his teaching and the pupils learning are both purposeless pick out words and phrases which show that he shares his pupils indifference to their work the teacher feels that his teaching and pupils learning are both purposeless because the pupils are least interested in learning the phrases that depict this are what do i care for what is the point of teaching of mine it all goes to the same abyss the words include waste amiss abyss etc question number 8 do you find any connection between the beginning and the ending of the poem yes there is a strong connection between the beginning and the ending of the poem the teacher in the beginning starts with a tired tune tired tune because of his past experiences of the class he however tries his best to bring the students to learn 
but finds no improvement in their attitude. Thus he gives in and waits for the bell to be rung. Now question is related to learning about the literary devices. Question number one. What is the metaphor used by the poet in stanza one? A metaphor is a comparison between two unlike things. The, meta, the metaphor used by the poet in, the, in stanza one is my pack of unruly hounds. The teacher considers himself a hunter and the pupils are regarded as a pack of unruly hounds. The students are unruly and do not follow the direction of the hunter. Question number two, identify the metaphor in stanza three. In the third stanza, the metaphors are my loss, dear fuel of life, and dear dross of indifference. The speaker feels that his energy is the dear fuel, and cold indifference on the part of the people is dross. The teacher's energy has likeness to fuel, and what he gets is just the dross of indifference. Thanks.